As reported by Nameless underscore JSDF on October 14, 2024, the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, JGSDF, has introduced a new wave of mobile artillery technology with the recent delivery of the Type 19 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer to the 2nd Artillery Brigade. Stationed in Kusu, Oita Prefecture, this advanced artillery system will complement the older FH-70 155mm towed howitzers, significantly boosting Japan's modern artillery capabilities. With the ability to fire base bleed shells up to 40 kilometers at a rate of 6 rounds per minute, the Type 19 is equipped with cutting-edge targeting and fire control systems that ensure unparalleled accuracy and response times. The journey toward the development of the Type 19 began in 2013, driven by the Japanese Ministry of Defense's recognition of the need for a more modern and mobile artillery system. The FH-70, in service since 1978, had become outdated, prompting the initiation of the Type 19 to bridge the gap. Japan Steelworks JSW took the lead on this project, blending existing technologies to reduce production costs while ensuring the system met modern battlefield requirements. The core of the Type 19 combines the Type 99 self-propelled 155mm howitzer's gun system with a highly mobile wheeled chassis. The development budget reached approximately 9.9 .9 billion yen, around $66.3 million, and the initial stages of planning began in 2011. After receiving official approval in the fiscal year 2013 defense budget, JSW delivered a prototype to Japan's Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency, ATLA, on May 31, 2018. The Type 19 was subsequently unveiled to the public during the Fuji Firepower Exercise in August 2019, following extensive evaluation and testing. After successful testing, Procurement for the Type 19 began in fiscal year 2019, with an initial order of 7 units for training purposes at a cost of 5.1 billion yen, around $34.2 million. A further 7 units were ordered in 2020 at 4.5 billion yen, approximately $30.2 million. This procurement strategy continued with the purchase of seven units each in 2021 and 2022, although no orders were placed in 2023. In fiscal year 2024, the JGSDF ramped up its orders with 16 additional units for about 14.9 billion yen, around $100 million. Looking ahead, an estimated request for 14 more units in fiscal year 2025 costing about 14 billion yen, around $93.8 million, will bring the total planned acquisition to 58 units. The overall investment for the project is expected to reach 47.4 billion yen, approximately $317.6 million, including initial fees. The Type 19 is built on a German-designed HX 78 by 8 truck chassis from Rainmetal Man Military Vehicles, RMMV produced under license by Japan Steel Works. It is powered by a MAN DF2066 LF34 10.5-liter turbocharged diesel engine that generates 440 horsepower, paired with a ZF12 speed automatic transmission. With this power, the vehicle can achieve speeds of up to 88 kilometers per hour and has an operational range of approximately 800 kilometers, making it a highly mobile solution for Japan's defense needs. The vehicle is armed with a 155mm-L52 gun, derived from the Type 99 tracked self-propelled howitzer, featuring a multi-slotted muzzle brake for recoil reduction. Despite the open compartment design, which eliminates the need for a smoke evacuator, the Type 19 maintains its precision and firepower. The semi-automatic loading system enables efficient shell loading, while propellants are manually loaded. The system fires standard high explosive fragmentation, HEFRAG, shells with a range of up to 30 kilometers, and rocket assisted projectiles extend this range to approximately 38 kilometers. With Type 93 base bleed ammunition, the maximum range can reach 40 kilometers at a rapid firing rate of 6 rounds per minute.
One of the key features that enhances the Type 19's battlefield effectiveness is the hydraulically lowered trapezoidal spade at the rear of the vehicle. This feature stabilizes the platform by lifting the rear wheels off the ground during firing, allowing for shoot and scoot tactics, where the system can quickly engage targets and relocate without requiring extensive setup. The Type 19 operates with a five-person crew. Three crew members are housed in an armored cab at the front of the vehicle, which provides protection against small arms fire and shell fragments. Two additional crew members are positioned mid-chassis under a basic canvas cover, though they have limited shelter and no additional armor protection. Despite the absence of a fully automatic loader, the Type 19 aligns with Japan's defense priorities by emphasizing a balance between mobility, firepower, and cost-effectiveness. The system is designed for rapid deployment and repositioning, reducing vulnerability to counter-battery fire and enhancing survivability on the battlefield. In terms of targeting, the Type 19 is equipped with a sophisticated inertial navigation system, INS, integrated with Japan's Firepower Combat Command and Control System, FCCS. This integration allows the artillery system to precisely determine its location without the need for traditional surveying equipment. As a result, the Type 19 can be deployed and ready to fire in a fraction of the time required by older systems. The addition of the Type 19 155 mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer to Japan's Second Artillery Brigade marks a significant step forward in the JGSDF's artillery capabilities. Combining mobility, firepower, and advanced technology, the Type 19 addresses the limitations of its predecessor, the FH-70, and provides Japan with a highly responsive and versatile artillery system. With its emphasis on shoot and scoot tactics and integration with modern targeting systems, the Type 19 ensures Japan is prepared for the challenges of modern warfare while maintaining cost-effectiveness and operational efficiency.